What is up guys and welcome back to the episode of the F1 Clash 2024 series. Yes, it has been a long time. I do apologize uh, for the long hiatus between the second and third episode, but we're finally back. We're finally back and ready to continue cooking our way through the F1 Clash Gauntlet. We are starting with our first race, continuing to uh, find our way through Series 2 and hopefully we'll be able to get some more wins this time around. Uh, we're going against a guy, team score of 247, so just ever so slightly above ours. Hopefully we will be able to uh, finesse him as we head to Spain towards the southern of Barcelona, uh, Catalonia. 30 degrees Celsius outside, so the tires, if it is 30 degrees Celsius, will be faster, but it will be um, more prone to uh, degradation. We are going to get out qualified by both drivers. He is using, I presume, is the Epic um, Sergeant, but also he's using Stroll as well, which is available only in Series 3 and above. So, yeah, I guess he he has already bought something for Series 3, or he's already used the CC store. Um, so we're just going to have to find a way to make our way through. We are going to give Hulkenberg self control and start up on the mediums. Baltas, on the other hand, he is on the softs, but he is using the Ode boost. I'm pretty sure uh, that is how you say it. Fiber lights, and we are underway. Baltas gets a, well, not the greatest star, but Hulkenberg manages uh, to find his way. He does actually get held up a little bit by the other drivers. But then into turn one, we are going to take the lead, quote unquote, uh, depending on how many points we have. Both drivers have gotten ahead of our opponent. The boosts are absolutely cooking right now as Hulkenberg is moving his way up, as is Baltas. Baltas is up into 15th place with Hulkenberg in 13th. Baltas tried to go up the inside. Actually, he's going to get re-overtaken there as he moves down to 16th as we make our way into the left hand. Here. A very, very easy place to gain or lose positions. And luckily for our, uh, our sake, Baltas and Hulkenberg gain positions. Hulkenberg uh, is in 14th with Baltas in 13th. Baltas, we are going then onto the hard tires. We're gonna try, I think, I think my plan was um, to do a one stop. That's how you know this has been such a long time. The fact I don't remember these races, uh, yeah, I just, I haven't really had time to sort of record this. I haven't really had a time just where I could sit down and properly record this. So it's been a while. Um, this is well before, this is probably right after the release of the game. So this has been for almost two months sitting in the archive. So luckily, we have been able to finally get recording here. We're going to give Hulkenberg a set of soft tires on the next turn around as he continues on for one little lap and he actually moves his way uh, up at the seventh place while Bottas comes out in 17th place on the hard tires. And I think my aim here is to try and get him um, to uh, lap six, I think, with plenty of tire life as we're going to put Hulkenberg then onto the medium tires. I think I made a mistake originally. I thought it was five laps. Uh, not six laps, so he is going to be making his way into the pits very soon as Baltas does get past um, one of our rival drivers, I think that's Stroll, who is trying to stretch his hard tires four laps, which, I mean, to be, or three laps, which, I mean, to be fair, is, is pretty solid. I mean, it, it's, I do have, I have noticed that um, definitely in these lower areas of F1 Clash that is, uh, it's not easy to maintain tires. Um, there are certain ways, certain strategies that I do uh, implement, such as going the balloon mode on the straights just to try uh, to conserve as much tires as possible and gain energy, and then trying to deploy whenever needed. Because um, the reality is, I don't really think tire management is that crucial, but it, it definitely is important because there is a balance between sort of being aggressive, using like soft and mediums, and then doing sort of what we're doing right now, doing the one stop of just straight medium to hard, or in, in Bottas' case, uh, soft to hard. It is lap five of six, and so far, uh, we're not looking too bad, actually. We have Bottas running pretty decently here on the hard tires. He has moved his way up into 10th place with Hulkenberg uh, in 12th, and hopefully we will be able to close this out as uh, one of the drivers starts the final lap. Not sure who is leading the race particularly yet, but we're going to have to make sure Bottas uh, finishes off. He will cross the line with 26% tire wear. So, uh, at the rate we are going, we are going to make it. But just to make sure, we're not going to really push him that hard. Meanwhile, for Hulkenberg, he's got plenty of tire life. Uh, as soon as I say that, I'm going to put Baltas on push mode. Um, we are so far ahead of our opponent, though. It's probably just doesn't matter that much. But, uh, yeah, Baltas is going to make his way into turn 9, I think, as well as Hulkenberg. Hulkenberg is going all out right now. We're going to drain his battery, try to use up the medium tires. Uh, to his advantage. We are going to be close on tires though with Baltas. He is going to run out of tires 
uh, at the line. But luckily for us, I think it was one of the Ferrari drivers behind that also ran out of tires. So he, uh, Bottas finishes P9 with Hulkenberg finishing, oh uh, sorry, Hulkenberg finishes P10 then with um, Bottas finishing P8. So a uh, strong dry race from both drivers as our rival is starting to finish his race as well and uh, we will be securing another victory for us once again uh very very strong result p6 uh, overall and for our awards we are gonna get what 